early days of the internet, two Stanford computer scientists had a vision for how to connect computers together over long distances. Their name was Leonard Bosak and Sandy Lerner, and they founded Cisco Systems in 1984. Bosak and Lerner met in 1976 while they were both students at Stanford. They were both interested in networking, and they quickly became friends. After graduating, they both got jobs at Stanford, where they worked on developing new networking technologies. In 1984, Bosak and Lerner realized that there was a need for a company that could sell networking equipment to businesses. They decided to start their own company, and they called it Cisco Systems. The name Cisco was a reference to San Francisco, the city where the company was founded. The logo for Cisco was also inspired by San Francisco, and it features two vertical lines that represent the Golden Gate Bridge. Cisco's first product was a router that could connect two different networks together. This was a revolutionary product at the time, and it helped to make Cisco a leader in the networking industry. One of the challenges that Bosak and Lerner faced was getting venture capitalists to invest in their company. Many VCs were skeptical about the internet, and they didn't believe that there was a market for networking equipment. However, Bosak and Lerner were able to eventually convince a VC named Don Valentine to invest in their company. Valentine was a legendary VC who had backed companies like Apple and Compaq. He saw the potential of the internet, and he believed that Cisco had the potential to be a successful company. With the help of venture capital, Cisco began to grow rapidly. The company's routers were in high demand, and Cisco soon became the leading provider of networking equipment in the world. Technical Challenges Bosak and Lerner faced a number of technical challenges in developing their first router. One challenge was that there were no standards for networking equipment at the time. This meant that Bosak and Lerner had to create their own standards. Another challenge was that the technology for networking equipment was still in its early stages. This meant that Bosak and Lerner had to use a lot of trial and error to get their router to work. Business Challenges Cisco also faced a number of business challenges in its early days. One challenge was that the market for networking equipment was still small. This meant that Cisco had to convince businesses that they needed networking equipment. Another challenge was that Cisco was competing with larger companies like IBM and DEC. These companies had more resources than Cisco, and they were able to sell their products at a lower price. Impact on the world. Cisco's routers have played a critical role in the development of the internet and the global economy. Cisco's routers have helped to connect businesses and individuals all over the world. Cisco's routers have also helped to make the internet more reliable and secure. Cisco's routers are used to protect the internet from cyber attacks. Cisco's success is a testament to the vision of Bosak and Lerner. They saw the potential of the internet long before most people, and they were able to build a company that has revolutionized the way we communicate. Subscribe to Silicon Whispers for more intriguing tech stories from the past.